So yeah, here it is. This was a model robot that I got on vacation. I really wanted to build it because it looked cool from magazines. Now the original um, design, this was the base, four wheel drive base. Each one has its own separate motor. And this here was a robotic arm. And it used to look like this. So it can move around, grip stuff, all that. Well, you know what? After a while, I kind of got bored of it, didn't use it. So I've come up with a new use for it. And it is a bottle rocket launcher. Front, back, right, left. So it all makes sense. Then for this, the rotating base here, the tilt here, which is actually performed by two servos, and then you have the switch here, which flips this. Now, we have our, over here, this is the base, you turn this left and right to move the base, here is your tilt. That would be 90 degrees straight forward. That would be straight up in the air. And then over here is your ignition switch. On, off. And that's hitting this momentary switch, which is connected to a 9 volt battery. And the wires go all the way up. But wait, what are simple wires going to do? Easy. They will ignite a flash cube. Flash cube! Oh, it is. This is what was used in old cameras for the flash. All it was was a bulb, and it had to contact on either side, and it has steel wool in it. When you run electricity through the two prongs, it has to travel through the uh, steel wool, creating s fire, basically but they vacuum seal these so instead of making fire it makes a bright light now it still gets very hot so by attaching it to the wires up there and sticking it into the tube where the fuses are going to be by the way they're not actually going to sit out like that that's just so you can see them the bulb will be in the tube and when this servo hits that it gives electricity to the bulb and effectively ignites the fuses Firing off bottle rockets within three seconds. There you have it. A remote controlled robot that fires off bottle rockets. Here is the final product. Not much else has changed except I have attached an end cap to the cannon so that way the fireworks don't fall out. And I've put a cover so that I can get to the cube. Flash cube, that is. Mm. So, here we go. The fuses are placed right there along with the cube, and I've cut down the wire to size. So that way you can access it and close that real easy, and it stays on tight. So, all I have to do is attach this here, and it will be complete and live. We have three different types of ammunition. We have bottle rockets. We have three whistling moon travelers. Or, for those dark nights in hell, we have the neon whistlers. Even better. Once loaded with three to four different missiles, a flip of a switch is all it takes. And now it will have launched. And besides that, Saturn missile rockets look even cooler. Hell yeah. BRB. And here we are, loaded and ready for action. We have two moon whistles and a bottle rockets. Now then, let's close the hatch.
and go for a little spin. Very nice, very nice. Oh, shit, right. also, oh my god. Now let's try this sucker out. What are you gonna shoot? I don't know. I think I should just shoot at the sky. I think you should hit that barrel. Frickin' works. That's a little creepy. And now I'm out of ammo. Alright. Oh, that's cool. Fire. Oh. Shit. It's going. See if I can spit it out. <laughs> Try triggering it again. You look the paper, not the fuse. How the paper's going on? Where's those big ass bottle rockets you have? Put one of them suckers in there. She's all the weight pieces. Yeah. Tell them make it catapult. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm holding the camera, so... Nick. Don't forget, I'm holding the camera, so if you aim that thing at me, I'm just gonna block it with this. <laughs> oh, alright. Yeah. Oh, it was just one flash bulb? Yeah. That's oh, why I, I thought you were gonna use it. A...